Welcome back to Always Learning. What are we doing today? Well, today we're learning about the Predator platform and how to do modifications to it just to make it easier to handle and just a little more convenient when you go out into the field, when you're climbing, when you're saddle hunting. And so the first thing you want to want to do, first modification you're going to do is you're probably going to want to paint it. And um, I've got another video, I'll link it in the description below or at the end, where I just spray painted it with uh, primer and then I came back in and used uh, brown, black, green, white, just to kind of give it a camo color. But really you're just trying to break it up because it is shiny and I don't, deer don't see color, but I do believe that they'll, the shiny if it reflects off the sun, that will draw their eyes up and so you might get busted doing that. So anyway, if the, that's the first modification you're probably going to want to do. The second one is, you're probably going to want, I went on Etsy and I'll leave the link in the description below, but I got one of these little hooks and it this part goes through your loop on the back of your saddle. So it just hangs off the back of my saddle. And then it's got a really deep channel right here. And that deep channel allows me, I've just got this, it's kind of what you'd get to wrap up uh, electrical cords. It's, it's just, I think they call them eye loops. Um, but anyway, it just hangs off the back here. So it makes it real easy to put it on the back of my saddle and to take it off when I'm climbing the tree. So it's back there. Part That's partly why I switched to the tether platform is because it's so light. Uh, the other one I had was, uh, I liked, it's a trophy line. It was bigger and I kind of thought it was a good blend between going from uh, stand hunting to saddle hunting, but it just, it just kept pulling. It was so heavy, it kept pulling on my saddle down. I didn't like because my saddle would slide. And so I was fighting it the whole time. But with this one being so light, I haven't um, had any issues with that. So the second thing is I'd get one of these to put on the back of your saddle and then get one of these eye loops to um, hang it off of. And the nice thing is, is uh, it doesn't, you can bend it so it's out of the way so it doesn't get into the, where your, your teeth are. So it's not gonna hamper it biting into the tree. The other thing you're gonna do that I did was I added another one up here and I'll get to that in a little bit. But what's nice about that is, is uh, when I painted it, uh, I put a little bit of rubber seal on the front here and on the top here, because what happens is that's where you get that clank. And so what I'll do is when I get ready to close this up, I use this to help me hang it. Um, I'll actually just wrap this one down through down through where where it's going to clank and now I have I have this here when I secure it at the end so it's all tied up ready to go um, it doesn't clank because that rubber is actually in between uh, the two metal parts where it's going to hit so that's another little thing I do some people some people will wrap paracord around here and I've done that and that works okay. Um, they also, they'll, they'll wrap paracord all the way around here. Like I said, I tried rubber, that rubber seal uh, that you can just spray in a can. It comes in black and different colors. I sprayed that here. I may have to put a little bit more on to try to keep that, but I'll use this for hanging. I'll show you in a second. The biggest complaint I hear from people with the tethered platform is from the buckle cam system. And uh, when you're putting it around the tree, you're going to go around the tree, you're going to hook this, damn it, you're going to put it here, get it all the way you want it, slide it down, cam it really tight, and then lock it down. The big complaint I hear from people is when they're throwing this around this tree or they're carrying it on, the, on, their, on their platform is this buckle rattles. Um, and when I'm throwing it around the tree, sometimes you got to get a pretty big, it's going to hit, it'll hit your steps and it'll clank against the tree. So um, Tether actually makes a Versus strap. And the Versus strap is rated like 1,200 pounds. And so instead of using this cam buckle, throwing it around the tree you can use this versus and it's just got inner every two inches it's got interlocking loops 
so it makes no noise it's up to a thousand pounds you do it the same way you throw it around the tree get it around that tree you're going to find what hole is is close you're going to try to get this strap as level as possible so you get that loop and get it as tight as you can and put that on there and you simply cam it down and then set it into the tree and to me this is just as solid as the cam system the trees you can even go back around it put another case it slips but anyway it's pretty easy and it's it to me it's simpler than the camps the uh, cam strap and doesn't make any noise then when you're ready to put put it away simply just take this off like I said you can you can come through and wrap this if you want make it silent But what's nice about this is you just go around it like you would your cam, like a lot of people have done with your cam system. And then it comes with the, it already comes with a little bungee strap here that you can adjust. And then you simply take that bungee, put it around your corner, and you're you're ready to go. So same thing with the cam system. You'll wrap it around there, and then at the end, I put a bungee cord on my cam system so it does the same thing. Once you get done wrapping it, you just simply stretch it to your corner, and it holds. So if you like the cam system, you can just actually do a double knot at the end of your at the end of one of uh, one of your ends, um, so you can attach it as well. Wrap it around and attach it. But those are the mods that I've done. The last one I'm going to show you is just actually when you go to hang it okay so when you're hanging off the tree you're up here and i've got to put my platform up here i simply just reach back take it off that hook i've got it here and i'm going to pull it got the versa strap on there and this is where i use this top So what I'll do is I'll, I usually do it on the other side, but it's easier to show with the camera. So I'll just simply wrap that around there. So now it's hanging, I don't have to mess with it. And I can simply put it on the tree where I want it. Slide this up if I have to. Go around the tree. Cam it over. Take this. I mean, you can go around it twice if you want, and lock it. Or it's got this bungee cord that you can come under, and you're ready. You're ready to hunt. It's a little crooked. Now I take this off. Tie my tether. Step onto my platform, take my safety harness, my lineman's belt off, and you're ready to hunt. So it just helps, it helps put that in things so I got two hands that are free to do it. Like I said, then when I'm done, it's just the reverse of that. Pull this up, loosen it. And tie this on here if I want to hold it two hands on the strap take that off run that through so it doesn't make any noise come back around the top that's secure now I'm going to take my just simply wrap it around 
and it's got that bungee on the end, stretch it on the corner, ready to go back down the tree. That's it. Those are the mods I've made. Uh, so anyway, I hope those helped you out. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Thank you.